Welcome to our Halloween Happening series, sponsored by Etchall and Judikins. In today's episode, I'm using products from Etchall to transform some Dollar Tree frames into a spooky, fun Halloween lantern. To make the lantern, I'm starting with four 2 by 3 inch frames that I got in the local dollar store. And take the backs out, all you want are the glass and the frame itself. You can adjust the size, just choose different size frames. This project will work with any size lantern that you want to make. Next I took the outside edge off of Judy Kin's spiderweb kite stencil and took it outside to give it a spray with Etchall's Reposition Reuse Stencil Spray. This spray makes your stencils adhere temporarily to almost any surface that you want to stencil. And it also makes stencils made with etch mask reusable. Next, take the spiderweb stencil so that the tacky side is face down and place it onto the first panel of glass for your lantern. Give it a press and you're ready to etch. I'm just going to pick it up and show you how well it adheres to the glass so that you can assure that you're not getting itching cream behind that stencil. Use the squeegee to apply a thick coat of etchall cream directly over the stencil onto the glass surface. Let it set for 15 minutes. After the 15 minutes has passed, use the squeegee to return the cream to the bottle for reuse at a later time. Remove the stencil from the glass and wash the glass thoroughly. The result is that the area around your spiderweb stencil has this great frosted finish, perfect for the lantern. Repeat those steps on the remaining three pieces of glass. I did change where I located the center of my spiderweb on each panel. Now that the four panels have been etched, it's time to insert them into the frames again. I inserted them so that the etched side was actually facing outwards, but you can do it whichever way you prefer. I added just a touch of hot glue at the bottom inside corner of each of the frames to hold the glass in place while I moved on to the next steps. Please note how I glued the frames together, which side touched which side in this image as we proceed to actually attaching them. I found that Beacon's 527 adhesive actually worked better than the hot glue to hold the frames together so that they didn't pop apart. I added a small amount along the edge of the first frame and then placed the second frame up against it so that the edge was straight against the outside edge of the first frame. We're going to build a square. You will have to hold it in place or prop it up just a bit to let that adhesive get tacky and then you can move on and do the other sides. I found that it was easier to attach the final frame by turning the first three upright and attaching it that way. You will need to hold it in place again just for a minute or so until that adhesive tacks. Let it dry thoroughly and then you're ready to proceed for the next step. To add a creepy cover to the spiderweb lantern, I used a touch of hot glue along one inside edge at a time and adhered just a little bit of the fake spider webbing and stretched it across and then adhered each other side one at a time until I had a very thin coating of spider webbing along the top opening of the lantern.
Just use scissors to trim away any extra webbing from the top. The last step is to install the creepy spider. I used one of the spider rings that came with the webbing and trimmed off the ring part and then just went ahead and attached it. I didn't use any adhesive, I just kind of set him on top of the web. Now the little spider web creepy lantern is ready to display in your home for some Halloween fun. I added the little battery operated tea lights that you can get again in the dollar store, making this a fun and affordable craft to celebrate Halloween. We hope you're enjoying our spooky fun Halloween series. Sign up on our website to receive our newsletter and you're automatically entered to win a prize package full of some of our favorite products. And as we always say, when creativity knocks, open the door.